Hey everyone and welcome back. As you can see in the title, we are making raisin vinegar. Um, now I originally heard about this when that 1870s homestead on Instagram posted that they were trying raisin vinegar and I'm like, never heard of raisin vinegar, but I love making my own vinegars. I've done pineapple. I actually have some pineapple going right now. A one and a half gallons actually. And I've also do the apple scrap vinegar. And so I was like, why not? So I did research and it's supposed to be kind of a smooth vinegar like a balsamic. And I love balsamic. So I did one and a half gallons. Um, so that is what I'm going to show you today is how I do that. So I hope you stick around. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit subscribe because you'll need to come back in a month to see the results. So if you want to do it with me, get your raisins and let's begin. Okay, so this could not be simpler. Let's make this vinegar. Um, it is going to come together in no time and then I will bring you back in a month whenever this is done fermenting and we'll do a taste test and of course we'll bring you along for recipes because I think I'm really going to like this because, because I love balsamic vinegar. So I have some nice, clean half gallon jars. And all we're gonna do is add about an inch and a half of raisins down into the bottom. So once you have about an inch and a half of raisins down, we're gonna to top it off with some filtered water. Okay, so everything is just the waterline is to this bottom lip. You do not need, from what I've read, a weight because all the raisins are going to stay at the bottom. So now you want a, some type of breathable fabric on top, whether that's actual breathable fabric or you can do uh, coffee filters, cheesecloth, um, paper towel, anything like that. You just want to make sure that it's breathing and non-metallic because we are working with, it's going to be vinegar. And then just secure it. Okay. Now these are going to go in my pantry uh, so that it can ferment nicely without fermenting too fast or not fermenting because it's so cold. So, and then... So one rising <laughs> and it, what's also different is with like apple scrap vinegar or pineapple vinegar, you ferment it with the fruit in it for a week or so, and then you take it out and let it ferment more with this. We're going to keep the raisins in there the entire month that it's going to be fermenting and then strain them at the end. It shouldn't have an issue. You just don't want anything above the water line. If you wanted to put a weight in, you could. But, and then after the month, we're going to strain out all the liquid and then it should be ready. So when that time comes, I'll do another video showing the straining process and we'll also taste test it. So if you want to make this with me, do so right now. Um, and then we can taste test it together in about a month. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you ideas on things to ferment and make your own vinegar. It's so easy. This was water and raisins and the raisins were given to me. So this was free. Um, and then I have apple or not apple. I have pineapple going right now. So here's one pineapple. And here's another pineapple. This is a gallon um, of pineapple vinegar that I have going right now. So I love homemade vinegars. They're so yummy. I've never done this though, and I'm just so excited about how it's gonna turn out. So we'll see you all on my next one. Thanks for watching. 